Hi Taurus, it's Nick. Welcome to New Week. We're covering October 21st till the 27th. So we're getting close to the end of the month and we're going to look into the different areas of your life, health, finances, and personal relationships. And we are transitioning into Scorpio season this week. So I'm going to get a message from my favorite animal spirit book and get an animal spirit message for you guys in this transitional phase. And I'll have it linked below and I also figured out I could tag it in the video. So if you're interested, you could check it out, but it's not sponsored. I do earn a small commission, uh, but I paid this with my own money and I bought it at a local spiritual store back in Cali and um, in Pasadena called Alexandria. But I pretty much use it every day and I really like it. So I thought it'd be fun to use for all the signs this week. And I did already post the weekly astrological energies video. So if you haven't already, make sure to go watch that so you get the general vibe and view what's going on in the sky this week. And keep in mind that Scorpio season is your opposite sign. So as we transition this week, you may start to feel a little out of place, maybe out of your comfort zone. And that may naturally happen to you maybe every year around this time. But nothing to fear. We will get through it and you'll be okay. All right. So... Um, and I'll have the link to the extended reading below in the description box if you're interested afterwards as a part two and a continuation as well, or you just want to show support for the channel. All right, so let's get your animal spirit message for this week for all my Taurians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Let's see, for Taurus, Taurus, what do they need to know? All right, you guys got the cat. Meow. So it's chapter four, page 193. Chapter four, page 193. Take a screenshot if you like. So the cat, its elements is earth. Primary colors, black, brown, gray, orange, white, various mixed colors and patterns, as we all know. Cat symbolizes harmony, timing, and exploration of the unknown. When cat appears, it means you need to be patient, stay quiet, and just observe what is happening around you. Timing is important to cat. It will wait until just the right time to attack its prey or make a move. This means to wait before taking action to ensure you're in the best possible position to obtain your goal. Kind of like Scorpio energy. You're an excellent communicator who is independent and likes time alone, but who is also comfortable being a part of a group. You enjoy being outside in the sun, but usually work best at night. Cat means you need to be more flexible and harmonious in your relationships with others. Sometimes you can be too unpredictable, only heeding your own instincts without regard to others. While you'll always land on your feet, others around you may not and will need your assistance to get back on track. Cat assists when you need to find what is hidden in the dark. Cats are mystical creatures that can see in the dark and will enlighten you on the path of self-discovery. So there you go. There's your message from your fellow cats. Hopefully that helps. Now let's look into your health, body, mind, soul, spirit. You guys got the eight of pentacles. Nice. So in this area of life for you guys, I feel like your hard work is paying off. You've been investing some of your time, money, actions, um, energy into your health, maybe even buying things or, uh, you know, paying for certain courses, classes, or training sessions, or you just been really trying to work on yourself, strengthen your strengthen your health, your body, and it's paying off. So you may start to see results. Um, you may feel stronger. You may feel like healthier. And the area of focus could be like your private parts, your private areas, um, or your internal organs um, in those areas that maybe could have got affected or you, you know, injured in some way, shape or form, like your pelvis, your sacrum, or, you know, maybe you had some hormonal issues possibly and you're fixing that. So whatever actions you've been taking, um, I would say continue doing it if you've been seeing results or if, you know, nothing is going wrong, just keep doing what you're doing because you're probably, uh, you're probably seeing good results anyways. Okay, so your hard work is paying off. Continue spending time working, uh, taking care of yourself as your body is getting stronger here. And um, you'll never regret taking care of your health. You know, like even if people don't like going to the gym or working out, like you may not be lazy and not wanna do it, but 
after you do it, you never say, oh, I wish I, oh, I wish I didn't do that. Like you always feel better about yourself after. So it's always a good idea to try to take care of your health in whatever way that resonates with you. All right, now when it comes to your work, school, career, and finances, you guys got the page of pentacles. So in this area of life, you may be taking little small actions, maybe even, um, you know, investing in different ways, looking into different uh, monetary revenues, possibilities, opportunities. You may be receiving or giving a message uh, from or to a younger earth sign possibly of, you know, possible ideas of things to do, projects, money, business that can lead to more money, more revenue in some way, shapes or form. Uh, you may even receive like a refund or an apology maybe from someone like let's say you bought something but it was broken or came defected you may end up returning it or refunding it um yesterday i think i shared with one of the signs that somehow scholars you know he babies kids they get into like uh, remotes and controllers and uh xboxes and stuff like that he somehow maybe we had we're on my amazon account watching something and he somehow like purchased something and then i got an email like 24.99 some digital thing that i never heard of so you may be refunding or returning something possibly and get like a small back or maybe even using some coupons getting some deals making some small purchases. I feel like that you may be making like small purchases, not like big things, but like little things or finding ways where you can save money in, uh, you know, adds up over a long period of time. All right, now, or maybe even figuring out like little ways you can make a little extra money, like little side hustle or something. Um, like you guys saw I made, you know, cookies for my husband and my family and my husband loved them so much. He's like, man, I think you could like sell these or something. I was like, no, <laughs> no, it's just for us. He's like, yeah, no, I, I, I don't want to share anyways. I want them all. <laughs> and by the time I finished filming that day, there was no more left. He's like, I was going to leave you some, but you know, Skylar just, you know, he had them all. I was like, yeah, sure. Blame Skylar. It was you. <laughs> anyways. Now look into your personal life, relationships, on your side, your energies. We got the Emperor, Six of Swords, and Death. So some of you may have Scorpio somewhere in your chart, uh, also Aries, or maybe Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Then on this other side, for this other person, so this could be their energies, and remember, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be literally your friend, your neighbor, your sister, your aunt, brother, anybody, because we're all dealing with someone, some kind of relationship in our life. We have the Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. So as far as who you could be dealing with, this person may be a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, or Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So uh, what's going on here? It feels like you have a lot of power, a lot of strength, leadership, and authority, authoritative kind of energies on your side this week as far as in your like personal life and your relationships. And you may really feel like you have, like, you're steering the wheel. Like, you have the control to decide where this is going to go, where it's going to lead. And um, I think you're leaning more towards talking things out, having more peace and harmony, finding solutions, advancing forward, and uh, trying to direct your actions, your passions in a peaceful way um, and not exhaust yourself, you know, with, like, fighting, arguing, or, you know, talking dealing with people who are toxic and you know a headache and drama and you may have a change of heart or you may change how you feel or what you're emotionally investing into so by the end of the week you're going through some kind of ending but it's more so like on your terms you're changing how you feel or how you connect or you're no longer going to feel the same way like you once did so you may be going through an internal emotional transformation ending a new beginning death and rebirth but it feels positive it feels like this is like a good thing something that you you are in control over and you you're deciding to do on your on your terms because you feel like this is right like maybe if you were angry or you were upset with someone you're like you know what it's not worth it i don't want to feel this way anymore and so you're kind of changing how you feel or you're changing your some heavy you know emotions you were attaching yourself um, with towards someone or just in general with relationships this person here i feel like is someone who <coughs> excuse me has like this winner mentality maybe competitive, maybe likes to work out or is very passionate. 
um, and is very confident about what they're feeling or it feels like you can advance forward. They're uh, feeling like you can overcome any hurdle, any challenge. So they may be very passionate and fired up and could be someone who's really good looking, attractive, um, knows how to gain attention um, and is receiving whatever you're saying or you're giving to them in a, um, in a positive way. Okay, and they also are someone who's independent, can stand tall on their own, self-sufficient, maybe smart, educated, uh, or has you know worked hard to get to the position they're at, or is getting towards, or is getting close to um, their dreams and their goals. So it could be someone who's single, um, or is very picky, very selective, and so they're not just gonna like you know mix and mingle with anybody, um, or they've been single for a long time. If this is like romantic, but I feel like they're very smart, educated, has a lot to offer, has great qualities. Okay, and so you, because of this, maybe this person's characteristics, their qualities and that you're seeing, that's why you may be having a change of heart, where like maybe you kind of felt bitter, or angry, or upset from the past, or you had this like tainted you know, feelings about, you know, women or men or whatever due to past experiences or things you see online on social media. But after meeting this person or connecting with them, they make you change your ways. They make you see, ah, oh, you know what? Not everyone's like that. There are good people. This person has great qualities. You know what? I need to let go of that negativity or that, you know, weird feeling that I, that I have towards or bias against, you know, all these kinds of people or this, gender or whatever um and so when you guys talk and you six is repeated twice here so you guys may be soulmates or you're just paying attention to each other you're joining forces and you're very peaceful and harmonious with each other or you're relating and it's like very compatible okay yeah the way you talk or the way you find solutions this person receives it well it gets them excited it inspires them and motivates them and you guys just mesh well with each other you don't butt heads Okay, um, and I feel like that whatever qualities this person is showing or how you guys are connecting and uh, mix and mingle, mix and mingling with each other is helping you transform and change how you feel on the inside um, in not it's, an, it's not in like an obvious external way. It's like more like you like a personal internal thing that you're going through a shift. And again, we're in Scorpio season, right? So it's kind of time like the cat said, kind of, you know, it's be in the background a little bit. Don't do too much. Be a little, have a little more finesse when you move, when you do things. Know when it's the right time to uh, say something or do something and kind of just study and observe yourself. But really positive, really great reading so far. Let's continue on in the extended to get more information to see where their energy is at. What are they thinking? What are they feeling when it comes to you? What they don't want you to know that maybe you should know and what their next action will be towards you and then follow it up with your advice at the end. All right, so we'll continue on the extended. Link will be below. I'll see you there. I'll see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.